hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl azin there williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys so you all know i'm a lover of love so we are gonna be starting this video with some lovey dovey gist yes guys so season three big brother niger ex-housemate toby bakari posted this very beautiful picture of him and the love of his life yes and he captioned this and said my favorite quarrel buddy he put the laughing emoji then he now said l o m l 2 then he now put the kiss emoji now for those of you who do not know what l o m l means is basically the love of my life isn't that sweet well just after Tobik bakary posted this um beautiful picture alex unusual his former bestie mm -hmm, posted this very beautiful picture i mean showing us you know that rock on her hand and she captioned it and said she searched she found and she said yes then she put the love emoji now this made it to a whole lot of blogs a lot of people were asking is alex unusual married even me i was asking like is she engaged or something you know um you remember some time ago in one of my videos i showed you guys where she went for a dress fitting with my atafo and it was a bridal like a bridal dress fitting and all that so i started putting two and two together but thank god i did not jump into some very unlogical conclusion yes i would have like been thrown off mark yes so this is basically boss jury advert it's not as safe alex is engaged yet so yeah keep your congratulations at bay for now so because um you're gonna need it in future when she is actually engaged anyways um it's a beautiful photo i love it i mean she could have fooled me there like she could have fooled me there anyways away from alex unusual let's go over to the one the only queen of the explorers dorothy ndidiamaka linda bachor yes so what's that her yoruba name what's that her yoruba name i think olua shala or something correct me if i'm wrong well the queen of the explorers woke up to a very good sight yes people of god she woke up to gift um flower bouquet chocolates um cookies all those lovey-dovey things you know and not just that her explorers bought her a landed a multi-millionaire and blinded property probably in lagos yes i'm not sure where it is but i'm betting it's gonna be in lagos silent i love calling them the silent movers and shakers like these people shocked us real time anyways listen to her as she came on live baby girl was almost in tears guys oh my goodness you guys bought me a property like i don't how, how it's not even my birthday i'm gonna cry <laughs> Oh my god, my explorers, you guys are amazing. You guys are so amazing. See, my voice is shaking. My voice is shaking. All my fans, my explorers, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. To everybody yes guys that was dorothy like yeah like i said she was almost in tears tears of joy tears of appreciation tears of thanksgiving she also went on to put this on her twitter page and said woke up to the best news my babies bought me a property i love you guys forever then she now put the love emoji like who will buy me something now eh who will buy me something now that i wake up and say oh my fans bought this for me well hala for who no get big brother niger fans anyways we move congratulations to her well then to the explorers you guys have done great now away from dorothy bacho and her lovely explorers let's go over to praise nelson and lucy everts yes so um these two were not even supposed to be in my gist today but i just stumbled upon this tweet and the reply from lucy and i'm asking myself 
what is really going on here now praise posted this on his um twitter page or he tweeted this and said avoiding certain people to protect your emotional health is not weakness it's wisdom then um lucy out of the blues just came out and replied that tweet and said if you want to talk to me talk to me directly don't be going through the corners p.s for me this is a joke and it's funny on so many levels especially since this isn't about me at all but knowing how you all twist things i decided to clarify first that this is a joke now my question is lucy who really asked you i mean if you did not say anything as you said it's a joke we really wouldn't have linked this to you praise made a tweet you responded or replied now you're asking us not to twist things i mean i don't understand this is just a case of um trying to i don't know like you are the one pitting yourself on the floor and you're still the one crying wolf i really do not understand what lucy is all about in this because praise did not mention her name not in a million years would i even think that this is about lucy except there is something else that we do not know about or maybe something that praise said somewhere else that i am not privy to you know i said that is the case then this is basically a case of guilty conscience if you ask me because a clear conscience fears no accusation and even if there was an accusation which this isn't i un i don't really understand why lucy is just you know being so overly dramatic like this is a clear drama queen behavior and i don't understand what it is all about now away from lucy and her drama queen behavior let's go over to the one the only boss lady of the big brother niger lockdown edition now yesterday i brought you guys a gist of um katrina listing her achievements that um she got from the age of 16 up to the age of 26 and how some people were saying that it's a lie some people were mad at her some people were being encouraged you know people will definitely talk now today actress uche Ebere came for katrina yes she put this out and said anybody that comes online to brag about her achievements at certain ages whether it's true or false shows how shallow your mentality is stop pressurizing young people with your chip stroke instagram lies most of your mates are dead stop that rubbish and get wisdom now when i saw this i was asking myself what is going on with this woman somebody listed her achievements she did not sob anybody she did not throw jabs at anybody she was just listing her achievements like every other ex big brother niger housemate has done in the past like every other celebrity has done so what like i don't even understand why katrina's case has got to be different or is it because it's katrina like there are so many things that was going through my head or in my head when i saw this on um, insta blog niger i was like what is really going on with this woman well katrina was not having it with her as she went on an instagram live and this is what she had to say listen so i'm just waking up to a message someone just tagged me on instagram you see i don't i heard the fact that most of these people that have been in the industry that have been popular for a long time they find it very difficult to accept the big brother stars i need i need them to understand that before before going for big brother we also we had a life let me talk for myself before big brother i had a life all right i went on the show I went on the show because I wanted to promote my brand, the Katrina Premium line. Promote my brand, the Katrina Premium line. She said, anybody that comes online to brag about her achievements at certain age ages, whether it's true or false, shows sh shows how shallow your mentality is. Stop prejudicing young people with your sheep Instagram lies most of your mates are dead stop that rubbish and get wisdom like who and and i oh, i actually had great respect i watched this woman on tv on movies growing up you know i had so much respect for her and she's coming on social media to for me to write this 
such nonsense if you've been in the industry and you have zero of what to show for your your work or for maybe you're not working. as i'm out now working is it my husband that is here working for me is it the one making all of this money for me why would you guys stop belittling people instead of you to appreciate what the hard work that i'm putting in i work hard people that know me should come on social media and and speak from my from childhood i worked you guys need to stop i work fucking hard by this time i'm already in the office stop it if you're not happy for me if you're not proud of my achievement fuck off I don't, why, why do you guys always want to trend? Whenever you hear Katrina's name, you are interested. Whenever you guys hear Katrina, everybody's fucking interested. Tattoo Saga came, all the whole people, everybody wanted to say something. Everybody had an opinion. I post my achievement, everybody had a fucking opinion. What is wrong with you guys? Stop it. I fucking work for everybody. Yes, guys, that was Katerina ranting on her Instagram live this morning. But no, she was not done. And she had to let out all the steam that has been building up because of this woman's talk or this woman's um, post. She said, you can't make your reality another person's life. We are blessed by grace, not by choice. I worked hard, smart, and built my empire at a young age. It's no one's fault if you lacked wisdom as a young person chasing fame that never came madam rest ijn that is in jesus name um some people will hate you just because your strength reminds them of their weakness don't let them slow you down i know she wasn't done she also said as a mother seeing young people progress should gladden your heart but no you are blinded by your failure in your career ouch okay um she also said receive peace i pray you live long enough to see all the houses i will build and more you wish me bad i wish you double you are a disgrace to motherhood coming on social media to wish another woman's child death i return it back to you in double folds you can't wish someone evil and expect to be successful times have changed and will continue that way as a mother your concentration should be praying for your children to make it big not make efforts to destroy another woman's child who has worked hard to make her community proud okay katrina had a lot to say she she really gave this woman an earful um what do i think about this um okay i'm gonna be candid with you guys when i talk about hypocrisy in the big brother niger streets this is exactly what i mean where um housemate a would do something you guys will praise them housemate b will do the exact same thing in their own way and you guys will criticize them all because you like the other one and you do not like the other one that's some bs if you ask me if you are gonna take a stand if you feel that people listing their achievements on social media is wrong then what is good for the goose should be good for the gander abby is that not what they say like is this not the same woman that was celebrating erica on her page about things that erica has achieved if you so feel that coming out on social media talking about people's achievements at so 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 age is creating a false narrative or pressurizing people then you shouldn't even have told that part in the first place or is it because once again is it because it is katarina many housemates has come out to list their achievements and we we're all kicking and high, you know high-fiving them and praising them and applauding them now katrina has come and done this very same thing we are calling her a cloud chaser we are calling her brag a braggart or what was now i do not subscribe to that that is some bs if you ask me like if we are going to you know um if you're gonna drag somebody for something make sure we drag all of them for the same thing hold everybody with the same standards or on the same standard whichever you know whichever word fits basically that's what i think about this so yeah i know um katrina's words on the woman were not really nice would i blame her oh no i would not blame her because i mean if you go to you know go to a beehive and you are poking your finger on the beehive if the bee stings you whose fault is it the bee or you that went to disturb the beehive 
That's a question you have to give a sincere answer to. Then if you could answer that question, then, I mean, we already know who is at fault here. I also, Katrina also misunderstood the lady where the lady said, um, some of your mates are not alive, you know? So I think that Katrina meant it to be that she was wishing her eat or death or something like that, which me, I do not understand like that. So yeah, that's what I think about this. Hypocrisy in the Big Brother Niger streets, it's things it's high time we just stop that i mean hold all of them with the same yastic if we are going to condemn katarina for posting her achievement then we might as well you know condemn all of them that's how i feel about all this yes guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section okay guys so that's it from me thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video till i come your way again i remain your darling girl az new williams have yourself a beautiful day ahead bye guys